what's going on, people? It's your boy Woozilla, aka Wupak, aka the Hip Hop Kaiju of Gaming. And um, a thought came into my head that I feel like I have to share with y'all. I know I talk a lot about having real friends, like a strong circle. I can get like into each intricate detail of like what that means and what that may entail. But one thing that has remained consistent is the fact that everybody thinks that a real friend always has to ride for you or die for you 24-7. Now, let's break this down. When people assume ride or die, they mean like if I get into a fight, he's getting into a fight. If I shoot, he's going to shoot. If I get into altercation, he's getting into altercation the whole nine. While it is good to have, why does everything have to be so destructive? Like, honestly, why does everything that entice having good friends or an actual friendship have to deal with something violent? Like, while having somebody who I know has my back, like my squad that y'all like y'all hear me talk to and y'all see me hang out with my vlogs and shit like that is one thing. It's a whole nother thing when I actually have an idea that I want to pursue and I want to build. Like, a real friend is not only somebody who's, like, willing to ride or die or, like, you know, swing, do whatever, whatever. It's somebody who's actually going to be willing to build with you and, like, help you out with your whatever you want to do. So, for instance, say, like, I'm not going to use, like, my YouTube channel and shit like that. Say, like, one of my friends would open up a dispensary or some shit like that. Because, you know, marijuana is a, is a touch, it's not even a touchy subject, but it's a popular subject to talk about, right? Because it should be legal. It's just a plant, but whatever say one of my friends wants to open up a dispensary as a friend i should support his business like i shouldn't be you know like if anybody try robbing you i'm pulling the fuck up it should be more of a like all right dog so like you know who are you doing business with what are you investing in what strands are you getting into where are you gonna put it at is it legal the whole nine like i should be asking him questions that he may have may not have thought about but he's like in the early stages of planning or my favorite is, say that in the, the, in the case that I do smoke weed or some shit like that, I should not be asking my boy for a discount on shit. Like, we don't ask nobody else for a discount on somebody we don't know. Niggas be willing to pay full price for a pair of Jordans, Gucci belts, and a car that they can't even afford, none of that. But the second, the one second their friend opens up a business or starts working somewhere or gets their own shit, hey, yo, can I get a discount? Like, that's not a real friend, bro. You just trying to mooch. Like, look at it like this. I could go up to probably anybody who I know, build some type of rapport with them, and have them willing to fight for me. I could do that. It's an easy thing. But I know that that doesn't mean shit. Like, the friends that I got will actually ask me, how's my shit going? They'll actually support me and shit like that. It, it, it's, it's, a, it's a big difference between a ride or die that's just there for the death part, and it's there for somebody who's willing to go with you on that ride anywhere that you go, both positive and and negative, but mostly positive in this aspect. Because there's way too many people pride themselves on having real niggas as friends and shit like that. Boy, the fuck are them real niggas when you're trying to do some real shit? Make some actual moves. Have a career. Own your own business. Like, the idea that owning your own thing is just so foreign to people. Not even foreign to people, but foreign to people, you know, who look like me. I hate to say it like that. That when you tell them that you're going, that you want to own some shit or that you want to move in your own direction or make your own moves, it's so daunting to them that they don't believe in you or they don't believe it. Like, it just can't happen. Like, look at it like this. When you tell your friends that you got a job somewhere, right, they're always happy for you because you got a job, you're making money, you're, you chase, you're chasing that bag or whatever, right? Take that same instance, but say that you're opening up your own business. You're creating your own opportunities. Notice how the, the infliction on their face changed or in their voice changed. Like, bro, you sure you want to do that? Like, that's risky. Like, why don't you just get a job? Like, I don't, like, if you t if you don't take the safe route, everybody looks at you different or they think that it's weird until you achieve that shit. And if you have some real friends, they should believe that you can achieve whatever the fuck you put your mind to. Now, granted, I understand why some type of skepticism could come in because who knows? You may not be that guy that you think you are as far as, um, you know, whatever career you might want to go into. Like, if you're a rapper or you want to be a rapper, more power to you, but we got enough of them that aren't that damn talented. And if you know that your bars aren't sound, your boys are still supporting you, well, I do appreciate that they do support you. They should tell you, hey, bro, you might want to find a different avenue of art. I get it that you like rap, but think about being a ghostwriter. Think about making your, a, a book. Think about doing something else, because obviously this rap thing is not for you, my brother. But it's certain things of that sort. Like, I don't want nobody to take this as an idea that you can't be a rapper. I'm not talking about that. If you, Oh, my God, he's about to crash. If you're going to be a rapper, go ahead. But any old way, have friends around you that actually support you in more ways than one. And actually have friends that are not only in, his, in this bitch to just die for you. That That has literally made no sense. Like, it's always good to have friends that you know they got your back through thick, thin, 
no matter the weather, we down for whatever type shit. That's always nice. But you need to have those same friends have that same energy when you're out here trying to do something positive and build. Because when you create opportunities, then you're able to put more people on. You can put those same friends that supported you, you can put them onto something and they can end up moving on create their own opportunities. When you do some shit like that, you got more power than you can even imagine. It's your boy Woozle and I'm out.